Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, welcome back, you guys. <clears throat> so, um, we did finish the DS1 playthrough yesterday, and it was actually, it was pretty quick, dude, considering I haven't played the game in a while. It was like 11 hours or so. Uh, but now we're going to get to the fun part, dude. We are going to be routing the all bosses run, all boss no hit run, which I did route, so I routed this, um... I actually have on my split still. I routed this probably two or three years ago. And I just never ended up getting around to actually doing it. Um, why is my borderless window not working? <laughs> God maybe, damn it, dude. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Um... It's been a while since I've had to do this, man. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do it with sorcery, and so that's what's gonna be changed. Like what I what I routed before was a crystal halberd route, and then here here was the like this is the exact boss order. So I did um asylum, Garg's quay leg, iron golem, all that stuff, O and S, and then I did stray demon after. No idea why, to be honest. And then I did Sif. Like, I have no idea what this boss order is. Like, what? <laughs> I, I don't know what this boss order is. Um, and then Seath. And then I went into the DLC after Seath, which makes sense. But yeah, it's going to be different this time. Like, th this was a Crystal Hobbard, and then, yeah, I killed Artorius Crystal Hobbard. Went to Manus, kill him with Crystal Hobbard, because Dark Beat's not good on him. Palamute with Crystal Hobbard. Uh, and then... Maybe, maybe... I'll and then the after that, ever. then I use Dark Beat for, like, everybody else and just kill everybody else. That was the route. Um, but, th yeah, this one's going to be different, because we're going to go with Sorcery. So, I did get the harder stuff. I don't know. It it's... It's too bad I don't have, like, a video on it or something. Or I never highlighted any of the route. Uh, Stagmita, thanks for the eight-month resub. Alex, thanks for the brand-new Prime sub. And Mist, thanks for the five-month Prime sub as well. Yeah, I'm going to learn Gothless Calme for sure. But yeah, so I have these splits here. It's going to change, 100%. Um, obviously thief. Probably turn the music off. Doing DLC early, need the doll. Um, I'm going to go back to like full scale just because for Duke skip, I a hundred percent use the UI here. I'll, I'll test it out a bit. Um, but no, I, I, I for the DLC, you just need to kill... I think you just need to kill Hydra, maybe, and then you need to kill that golden golem. The and then after you do that and talk Thank to Dusk, know. then you go to archives and get the key. I think that's it. So I'm not sure why I would have done Stray Demon where I did. Like, I, I didn't upgrade to, like, using a slab or anything. Uh, Gev as well. Thanks for the 18-month resub, dude. I don't know. 
I have no idea why I did it in that order. Must have been some reason, though. I remember when, when I was trying to teach this to Edie, like this lineup that I do with mouse keyboard, and she just could not... <laughs> she just could not get it. Is there any other reason why you would... Like, I didn't... Any other reason why I would go to Stray Demon there? Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe I did Stray Demon because that's where I got the Fog Ring. Like, yeah, you know what? That, that must have been it. Yeah. It's just I, I didn't... I don't, I don't think I made any notes on anything here, so... Yeah, it must have been the Fog Ring. Which makes sense. <clears throat> it still doesn't explain doing... Oh, you know why? Okay, actually, I'm remembering. I do Moonlight Butterfly because that's just the the most efficient thing to do. Like, you, you grab that bonfire. Yeah, you, gr you grab that bonfire. You rest at it. You do Sif, and then... Like, you want to do Sif and Moonlight Butterfly next to each other because it's the most efficient thing because you can't warp back there. So that's why I did that, but I... I but I, I don't know why I would do Sif that early, though. Like, if there's some reason Only for it. In the ancient <clears throat> well, the previous routing... I mean, the boss order was really good. It was very efficient, but obviously this time I'm going to use Sorcery, so... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be different no matter what. Even though it was a good route. Okay, now will I remember the any percent? Because <laughs> we're, we're just going to start by doing any percent stuff. Like Quayleg. Quayleg first. Uh, there's what, 20, 23 bosses in this game? I think. No, it's definitely not 26. PS3 is 25. PS2 is 41. This game, I think, is 23. Oh, just kidding. Actually, it is 26 because I have 26 splits. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I don't know where I got that 23 from then. Unless, do I have any splits that, like, aren't bosses? No, I guess not. Yeah, I guess, I don't know where that 23 came from. Weird. Like this game where Demon's Souls more? That's actually tough. I don't know. That's tough for me. I like both of them. You would think I, I shouldn't, re like, forget this early game setup, considering we did it a decent number of times for the all bosses, or God Run 3. Yeah, Elden Ring's 23 bosses, surely. Yeah, it's, it's 165 in Elden Ring, and then I don't know about Skiro, to be honest. Depends if you're considering the minor bosses and stuff. Uh... But anyways, Dark Souls 3 has 25, I believe. DS2, 41. Bloodborne, no idea. DS1, 26, I guess. And Demon Souls, I like... 17, maybe? I don't know. How did you choose between Elden Ring and Skiro? That is the easiest question of all time. Obviously, Elden Ring. I would choose any, I would choose probably any Dark Souls game over Elden, uh, Sekiro, actually.
They just have way more like replay value. Uh, what's up, Durbin? I think I do normally rest here. I guess I kind of have to. Uh, the question is, do I use a homeward bone after picking up the bow? God run one all bosses. Well, I I don't know. I'll I'll have to think about it. I I might do something like that. My favorite part about this game compared to the other Souls games is that, like when I when I go to equip a, something I can't wield and it tells me like oh you can't wield it, it at least if I hit the start button it at least allows me to get out of that menu. And, and still equip the weapon, whereas in like Dark Souls 3 and the other games, you try to do that, and if you hit the start, you just don't equip it, and it's so fucking annoying. I don't remember if I was actually picking up the soul, but I'm gonna continue doing it. You know what, though? Like, if we're doing all bosses... Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever... I'm gonna have to. Less I'm gonna have three. to change some things probably because it doesn't really make sense to. Like, if we're going undead burg, I might as well kill the bosses, right? Instead of skipping them. Gonna have to. I don't know. I. Like, there's definitely going to have... We're going to spend some time writing this here. Uh, Enigma, thanks for the six-month reset, dude. Let me just make sure I made a save there. Um, It's been a while. Like, when did I do the God Run 3, man? Feels like it's been so long. Oh. Wait, how... Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I don't remember my own best strat. Best time of the day. <laughs> um. Do I just turn the one guy on the right? I, I think so. Oh, no, 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 but I shoot and wait. I shoot two arrows, I thought. Oh, just to keep him turned, I think. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. There we go. I'm gonna do the strat because it's a multi-game run, so. If, uh, unless. I don't know, like, even if Dark Souls wants game one, I'm still gonna do this. I like this strat. It's, it's nice not really having to reset here ever. Surely 100%. I've, I've only seen one person say it didn't work one time, and I, I, I'm I not sure if it was actually an issue with the strat or if it's just like bad stamina management or something, because it certainly wasn't... Uh, like the only time I've seen it not work is just when, yeah, maybe, like their stamina maybe. wasn't good, and so they were having... The like they basically had like ever. a full stamina bar when they got Thank to the ladder, you. I think, or something like that. Probably not 100% still, but... Uh, I don't think we're going to be upgrading anything. Uh, Blue, thanks for, oh, thanks for the uh, eight-month resub. 
Uh, Kaimez, thanks for the six-month Prime sub. And Paranoid, thanks for the three-month Prime sub as well. Uh, Sino, how's it going, dude? Hmm. Because, yeah, I really, like, I'm going to have to think about this route. Make it a... Efficient. Because there's a lot of options we have. It definitely wouldn't be... It wouldn't be... Um, maybe, maybe. It wouldn't be too bad to go... Best not ever. And kill Taurus Demon now? No, I guess we should probably just do the normal thing, right? We should probably just do the normal, like, go get Griggs, leave, and then just, like, go back and... Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. A Stallion, thanks for the nine-month Prime sub, and Super Muffin, thanks for the brand-new Prime sub as well. Okay, I think I bought, like, some arrows here. 50 arrows. I think that's it. Um, any tips for Orphan of Cause? I mean, learn and then win. Simple. Do a normal route and come back. One shot everything. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad plan for sure. What does Redan eat? You need a bulking snack? Uh, he, yeah, I think he eats a lot of almonds. Probably. <laughs> yeah, simply parry and repost. I think this is all correct so far, what I normally do on any percent. Definitely, it's not, it's not the fastest route of all time, but... If we can, if we can keep this route around like 140, 150 or so, I think that's pretty... I don't think I normally wield that yet. Maybe I do. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, it's not a, this isn't a pure sorcery route or anything. Because going pure sorcery makes the early game kind of more annoying than it has to be. I don't remember how to aim in this game. Yeah, the souls, the souls are pretty important in the early game here. Although I didn't realize that I could give Framped the Quay-like soul for an extra 2,000. Which, like, actually, you know what? Maybe that doesn't matter. The souls are just really important before Quay-like because I want to get to, like, one or one extra point of intelligence at this point in the game is very big.
That's why I'm kind of going out of my way to pick up these other souls. Yeah, I, I, I guess we'll just have to, like, run back through here at some point. Or is there any other... Um, let me think here. So, I, I wonder how I got to Taurus Demon. Like, look how late I did Taurus and Capra Demon on this run. After Bed of Chaos, like at the very end, after the DLC, like I, I wouldn't have gone through, I would have just run through this area, right? No way. Maybe I went up the staircase? Like where, where Havel is? Yeah, this is plus DLC for sure. I really can't remember, dude. Like, I, it was such a long time ago that I, I just can't remember. I think my jump key is T. Well, I'm trying to remember, like, I, I, my old route did a lot of things for a reason. Like, I, I figured out a lot of things on that. But what I, what I can do is just go look at, like, some other routes. It's probably a good idea. Get some ideas or something. But I know the game probably better now than I did at that point in time. Oh, I totally forgot about the other dog. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Good thing I've been making lots of saves as I am going here. As I, it's so funny. I, I right as I say, I know the game better now, and I forget about the dog. Uh, I finished the run from yesterday, uh, Shaz Prime. Yep, finished up all the all the DLC bosses and stuff. It, it went a lot quicker than I than I thought because the only place I didn't go really was the Great Hollow, just because I didn't really feel like going down there. But Aim about there. Like, there's no point in getting the, the shortcut or anything here, is there? Like... Let me just look around for a second. So normally in any percent, I grab the staff and then I just leave. And that's like the first split, the Grig split done. Um, like we're, we're just going to have to come back through here again, right? Unless I'm, am I forgetting about something? No, no, no. Okay. I, I'm, I'm getting mixed up. Like, we're, we're just going to do the skip again, probably. Uh, 
I just I can't remember how I would have gotten to Taurus Demon in in my other route though. Like if I just went straight through like this, or if I <sighs> went some like because you can go up the tower, right? Yeah, I probably went up the tower, but I I, I don't remember doing that though. Okay, anyways, well, we're here, so... Wait, like, still gonna be the first boss? I'm thinking we're basically gonna just start out this route the same as any person. I, I think that makes sense. But maybe at some point I'll, I'll think of some improvement. All right. Oops. Uh, I'm not going to cheese cap for demon, though. I think I should get to 17. Oh. Is it because I picked up the extra soul, maybe? I think I normally get to 17. I could also just go, p like, pull up my god run 3 and <laughs> just look. But it's fine. I do really, like, this route for any percent is so nice, man. I, I find it just so much, so much comfier than Crystal Halberd or something. Like, not even because of the bosses, but just a lot of the, the sections, like Anor Londo. Probably the most annoying section is so simple. Yeah, surely I, I promise a God Run 3 tutorial. But, well, I remember after I did it, I was like, there's actually no point in me doing it because I I could just go back and look at, like, it was mostly for me so that I could go back and look at, like, if I was going to do the runs again, I could go back and look at it and remember why I did stuff. But, like, I have, I have the whole God Run 3 right there, so I can just go watch it. Welcome, Paletto. And, uh, Rune, welcome back. I'm excited to try out that Calamite strat. It looks very convoluted, though. <laughs> like, it looks pretty, uh... I don't know. I guess the timing on it is... Interesting. I usually do this mouse and keyboard. Uh, I assume it's 100%. I, I haven't tried it or anything, so I don't know. Oh, that was pretty bad. Clearly a tiny bit rusty at this. Oh, 
Gross. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> the I'm I'm rusty somehow. Even though I just played the game for two streams straight. Uh Itchy Manji, how's it going, dude? That Quaylike shot is so good. Like that that's you know, Quaylike's not a hard boss, but it can be annoying. Especially, you get bad RNG, lava's everywhere and stuff. The boxes on the lava are really bad. You get landed on or something. I'm, I'm really interested to see the DLC fights with sorcery because, you know, obviously Chris Hobbard's good. And that's what I used before, but... Like, sort of, like... I mean, if, if the difference between um sorcery and the crystal hobbard route on any percent or the, the well on on the dlc fights are as big as it is on any percent then like this run is the run was already pretty free like the old route i was doing was already very simple and so th this could be just like a complete joke of a run potentially Oh, wait, what is that question, Paletto? <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was using Dark Beat on this fight before, but like yeah, I I did this fight later and I just like two shot him with Dark Beat or something. Not this time, though. Sorcery, we want our early game souls. Gonna move this up here. Okay, so... I guess when when does Framp show up? Is it after you ring the two bells? Like I guess I'm still gonna be popping the soul, but <sighs> I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? Or I have I have my any percent splits with notes on it, I think so. Here we go. So I get... It's annoying. Um... Okay, so I get uh, Fall Control. And Bellowing Dragon Crest. And then 12 Attunement. Is that right? I mean, it must be right. I, but I think I have like one extra level here, maybe. I bought the ball control. I bought bellowing. I guess that's right. Uh, 
I will stream Elden Ring DLC playthrough, yes. Yeah, it's going to be fun, dude. The, you know, all remembrances or or all great runes. Like, hopefully they add a couple great rune bosses to the DLC. And then you could do all great runes, no hit with DLC bosses in it. Because all, like, I don't know. All remembrances kind of... Kind of, it, like, it's not really that fun of a run in the base game. I don't know why I zoomed in here. Also, is this... Holy smokes, dude. Be more shard bears lore wise? I have no idea. I must just ran straight through here. Oh. I don't know what I'm I I think my path was bad or something. Or, or I don't normally roll through that stair or the queue. I kind of botched that a little bit. There's no way I did this with controller. Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Insane arrow trajectory in this game. Uh, Tear Grass, thanks for the seven month reset, dude. Okay, and then I think I use a normal firebomb here, which I, of course, didn't pick up. Ah, I was meant to. Where do I... How do I forget this already? don't remember what I like what I look for here I think I'll say that's okay it's not that precise I don't think I totally messed that up
I have to. I do all that on keyboard. I was I was trying to roll on controller and then. <laughs> This game does not like when you try to use controller and mouse and keyboard at the exact same time. Like, it actually just doesn't even allow it, basically. DS2 will take... No, DS2 is not that long. Or wait, are you... Wait, is that for all bosses or are you saying for something else? No, DS2 all boss is not four hours. It's like three and a half tops. And yeah, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2 is fully routed. I mean, I've done that run several times. I've done an SL1. And I did, I did like a, a team hitless event, Dark Souls 2 all bosses, which I did also zero hit. So DS2 is like, I, I, I don't know, I, unless there's some new strats that I'm just not aware of, like that route should be basically up to date now. And then Dark Souls 3, obviously I've done that run a lot. Um, but the only difference is that I'm, we're going to include hidden body in it, which I haven't done before for all bosses, so. Why do I hear an archer? You guys hear that too? I thought I thought I heard an archer. Um, I did know you could dodge Loretta's triple slash by crouching, yeah. Well, I know now at least. Not sure if I knew that during the faith run or not. Kind of funny how little I remember this. Um, yeah, there's no way that's... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The fucking stored backstep somehow. I think I just slid down the ladder. Well, we go again. I guess, you know what? While I'm down here, I might as well get the fire bombs that I should have gotten earlier. That is normally what I use on the other guy. Or actually, yeah, why like why didn't I just pick it up when I was when I was setting up RTSR earlier? Just forgot. Stored input. Well, I just I, I don't normally drop down there, obviously. I just I I, I really don't remember, dude. It's kind of <sighs> When did I get the God Run 3, man? That wasn't that long ago for me to have just like forgotten everything. Yeah, crouching on Loretta is consistent, yeah. If that's what you're asking. I just, I usually don't bother because it's kind of sketchy and the arena is not perfectly flat. So I don't know if there's any issues with that. Minus one feather arrow.
There we go. I think I only just don't like to use a black fire bomb here because it's kind of wasteful. You don't need to use one. Yeah, Horse Dog Valley hitless is actually totally fine. It's not this. It's actually, dude, it, it's, it's a fun area to go through on no head and, and like test out and stuff. I do remember somebody found a, a zero horse strat, but I think it's only for Scholar. On vanilla DS2, Horse Valley is actually worse. Because there's, um, the frequent, they like, they nerfed the frequency of the storm in Scholar, actually. Like, the storm... So, the storm is when the horses can spawn, right? Um. But I, I, I normally just snipe this guy from far right, or... I don't know. I don't remember him ever attacking me. Uh, but yeah, in, in, in... So, so the horses spawn only during the storm. And in Scholar, they made it so that the time in between storms is longer. And so, yeah. I think I think Q came up with this setup, or at least Q was the one who told me about that uh, that setup on the right side, which is the 100% setup. I'm not sure who found like the very old version of that, which isn't 100%. Yeah, the the difference between this one and the old version that I used to do is that on this one, you're further away from the gargoyle, so you can't possibly like you're out of range of that flying attack, which is what makes it inconsistent from the other side. I, I may have to buy Homeward Bones at some point in time. Like, I don't know about from this guy, but... Uh, the Souls games that's hardest to know hit is DS3, in my opinion. Although, at this point in time, like... Um... The, the routes that people have come up with and the strats and stuff are so good. Even in Dark Souls 3, compared to what it used to be, right? <laughs> with, with like, no hidden body and no stealth, killing a bunch of enemies through, like, Central Earthal, grinding RNG and stuff. It, it's definitely a lot easier now than when I first did it. So maybe I'm... I still think DS3 is the hardest because it's got the hardest bosses, but... Um... I don't think I, I think we're just good to go through here. Yeah, C yeah, Cinder is tough. Twin Princes are tough. I I guess most people cheese though. Um, like D DSA can be tough. Like there's some tricky bosses in DS3. My timing is completely messed up here. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? What am I doing? Yeah, I'll, I'll cheese princes, I think, again, yeah. The coward's way out. Yeah, the last time... The last time I fought the DLC bosses in DS3 was the Master Run, which was like two and a half years or three years ago almost. Maybe. I can't remember exactly, but... Oh, like a long time ago. Oh, yeah, maybe... Yeah, I guess Zero Hit League. That's true. But I, I'm going to be pretty rusty at them, basically. Actually, speaking of the Master Run, I Bender got... Bender got the master run, right? I, I thought I saw him post it in Discord or something. But I saw that. Insane, dude. Remember thinking when I did the SO1 no upgrade, no hit all bosses, like a long, long time ago? I did not think that. I did not think that anybody else was ever going to do that run. And now, like six years, five years later, and, uh,.
And now the master run's been done numerous times. Crazy, dude. Uh, I don't think I need this firebomb. Hop thought about DS1. Well, yeah, it's, there's no way... There's no way you could have, or anybody really could have known how big no hit would get, right? And I, I was thinking the exact same thing, basically. And I was doing the I saw no upgrade. I was just like, yeah, it's very unlikely anyone's going to want to do a run that's like this, because it's just like a brutal run, right? Nobody thought there would be like 2,000 people <laughs> in Team Hitless or something like that, right? At least I didn't. Um, That was wrong. I As soon as I was about to drop, I'm like, yep, that is not good. <laughs> That's funny, dude. to myself right there. I think before I wasn't even bothering knocking him off. Just because we have so much damage with sorcery that like there's kind of I don't know. I felt for God Run 3 that it was riskier for me to knock him off. Okay, so now we rest here. Don't need to level up yet. Why is my game stuttering? No way he aggroed. Really? I think he, I think he just runs and drops off too. Obviously, I was not supposed to do that though. Um, I think I was. Shooting this guy twice. Slumbering on.
Master Key is so... Like, I, I don't even know why they gave you that as an option in this game. Because it kind of, like, it really... If you started with the Master Key, then you're not getting the... <laughs> the like you're missing out on a lot of the stuff that you would have to explore. Actually open this stuff. Obviously, it's nice for no hit, but I, I, I would honestly prefer just if it didn't even exist. Because then it's more complicated routing stuff that you got to do. Yeah, exactly, because you could just open up. You can just open up the, the new Londo door, and then just like that, you're skipping such a significant chunk of the game. If really look closely, most overnight successes took a long time. Hourglass. Oh, man, thanks for the uh, thousand bits, dude. Also, Carlos, thanks for the, the uh, $2 donation, dude. Uh, this is indeed DS1. My game is definitely stuttering slightly. Not sure why. Okay, so... Um, great heavy solero. That's actually it. That's all we're here for, I, I guess. Or is it? No. Yeah, and then homing soul mass, obviously. Great heavy homing soul mass. And, and then that's it. Don't get Soul Spear yet. Will stay here. Okay, stra I mean, I'm not going to do Stray Demon here, but... Fourteen Entombment, thirty-eight Intelligence. That's correct. Um, I'm not sure Raven yet, but if I do it, it'll be after I no hit all bosses in this, for sure. Uh, Ben Spectre, how's it going, dude? I might, but if I want to get this run quickly, then I, I probably won't. Especially because DS2 is a really long game. Maybe I could do it after or something. I don't know. It's going pity. When should I kill the Hydra also? Because because getting the Crown of Dusk... ...is nice to have, I, I think. 
I, I remember using it before. Also, we get hidden body, right? Whenever we do that. I don't know. I, we'll just keep it the same for now. Like, I think going to ONS, I shouldn't change too much. But then once, once I can warp, then that's probably where the route will be a bit different from any percent, I guess. But it, it doesn't even really have to be though. Hey Gino, I've been watching a lot recently. By the way, love the videos. I want to beat DS1, but I'm used to Elden Ring's controls. Is there any way to get used to DS1's slower and clunkier movements? Uh, uh, Carlos, thanks for the 345 bits, dude. Um, I, I would say, like, you just get used to it the more you play it, right? Um, and, I, yeah, I mean, the game's definitely clunkier and stuff, but you just gotta... That's just what happens when you're playing older games. Like, you just gotta get used to it. By playing it. it once you play it for a couple days, then it should, it's probably gonna be fine. Yeah, true. Mid rolling in this game is is really bad. <laughs> it's it's very bad. Wait, do I use great heavies for this guy? Can't remember if I normally do. I feel like I don't because I whiff them. Oh, I, no wonder my damage is so fucking low. That's why I was wondering because my damage is so low. It normally takes like three hits, I think. No RTSR is why. Um, should I have gotten to go get that bonfire? I really wish I had my, like, a video of my <laughs> other route, dude. Like, I need it at some point for sure, because that's how we're going to get to the painted world and... and stuff. But I don't really want to have to rest. Yeah, I probably want to go get it. Oops. I did it later? <sighs> but how to Like, it doesn't really make sense to get it later, though, right? Because... Like, it doesn't really make any sense to do it later. Or does it? Like, just going from the main and then... I'm just wondering, if I did that, how would I have set up RTSR, though? Like, just dropping on the elevator here? Just got done your fist, no hit run in Elden Ring. Fist, no hit run. Is that so? I, I I think we gotta get this here. I don't I, I just I don't really think it makes sense.
<laughs> oh yeah, maybe first, yeah. See, why can't like why can't I just light a bonfire and then it just work in this game? It's so unfortunate. This doesn't seem right to me. I, I maybe I just maybe I don't remember doing this. I'll give you the best nut ever. A Rihanna today, Oops. Uh, Greg, thanks for the three month resub, dude. Classic on the wrong side. Like, it, there's, there's a high chance that it would be faster to go from that bonfire than setting up RTSR all over again. It's just, it's just the gargoyle. Oh wait, but doesn't the gargoyle leave in the dark in Orlando though? Yeah, that yeah, that must be right then. Because I, I I don't think that's right. There's no way that's faster. But I just did. I wish should have made sure that guy didn't chase me. Absolute bonehead, dude. I forgot to cast Soul Mass, dude. turn this guy my game is definitely stuttering a bit dude I, I don't know what's going on classic windows 11 surely
Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit this. I don't remember. I think it's something like this. Clearly, it's more to the left. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. There we go. I don't have to kill that guy. It's just, it's nice not having to worry about him at the fog gate. Wish RTs there was as broken in other games as this one. Well, I kind of don't. It would have been nice, though, if, like, RTSR in the other games was more than 20%. Like, 20% is too low. Especially when you have Lloyd's Sword Ring that is 10%. Kind of messed that up a bit. Oh my god, that was an atrocious roll. Yeah, and I think on God Run 3, I was just using the pillar for Smo. Insane stagger. Okay, so then, now at this point, I don't know what's happening at this point. You know what, I might as well make new splits, because these splits aren't, <laughs> these splits aren't doing much. I'll have a Grig split in here, so I can make notes for it. Okay, so what should be next? Not sure why I rusted here. Like, we go back, we... Like, I guess we, we want to go do Seath as early as we can, right? Still?
Just so we can get, like, crystal soul spear and stuff. So, I, you know what? Like, maybe we keep this... Like, unless there's a reason to go do, to go do anything else, but I don't think so, man. Maybe you also get some notes copied over from these other splits. For my any percent. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Matt's Homebrew, thanks for the four-month prime sub, and Shadow, thanks for the three-month resub as well. Okay, so back to Firelink. But, but, you know what, though, like... If we're gonna go to Archives... Then, we would for sure want to... Like, on this, when I do Seath, we also do, um... Yeah, see, like, that's why I do that string of bosses. Sif, Butterfly, and Seath in a row, because we want to, um, like, to be efficient, you want to take out the Hydra and then kill the Golden Golem. And then you, you want to do that on the way to Sif. And then you also don't want to have to run back to uh, Moonlight Butterfly. And so you do Moonlight Butterfly at the same time. And then you do see so that you can get the key and you don't have to run back, right? Oh, yeah, Bender, congrats on the run, dude. That's huge, man. But normally, normally I have crystal soul mass for... Like, yeah, because you gotta... Man... That's tough, actually. That's a tough problem that I didn't think about. Also, it might be really annoying on this run just never having the Firelink bonfire. Yeah, that's that's a problem. I mean, what I could do is go kill the Hydra with this setup. And then just, like, I'm sure Moonlight Butterfly is no problem with this. And then, like, Sif... It's probably also fine, even though it's going to be a little bit worse than in the run we do. Or, so so we either do that. Or we do the normal Seath route. Like, we go to Archives, get the better Catalyst, the Crystallization Catalyst, get the Soul Spears. And then... Just run back. Like, from, from the Archives Bonfire, how much of a pain would it be to go back track from there? Probably a huge pain, actually. Like, that that's a, definitely very inefficient, right? Because you'd run back from the Andrew Londo Bonfire. And then you just have to run through that section again. Definitely inefficient. Okay. Um, well, let's go try... Um, I guess, yeah, let's go, uh, go do Hydra and stuff now. Okay, so what do I normally do, though, on any percent at this point?
Oh, I'll do pinwheel first. Why do I do that? I wonder. <laughs> there must be some reason. Oh, fog ring. That's, yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, so we can do pinwheel now then. Sure. What's up, Reflections? Uh, let's sell our stuff, I guess. Fogrian 5, Hidden Body. That's... <sighs> um... That's a good question. That is a good question. I definitely used Fog Ring still in my other All Bosses route. So this will be the order that I would like to do. Sif, Butterfly, and then Seath. Something like that. It's just more efficient, but... But yeah, maybe I, I probably don't need it. It's true. Let's go on Posse. Uh, Simon, thanks, dude. Do I just feed him all the garbage here? Normally? I think I think so. I don't think I need the bandit knife anymore. I think I can feed that too, but. I, I mess this up, I think. <laughs> Dude, how can I not remember? Soul Spear. Um, but then... Out, are you? You have great... Yeah, yeah, I buy it first, and then I go to Frampt, talk to him. Go down, well. and then when I come back up, then that's when Logan leaves. I think. Are you ready? Yeah, so he's gone. Got the soul spear, and now he teaches soul spear. And I believe we kill him, right? We got soul spear from him. And then I believe we just destroy him. Yeah, he gives you another slumbering, so that's why... But I could feed the other one. But So now this is normally where I'd go down. But I guess I can... Can't warp right now. Kind of annoying. Oh, I guess actually I never rested at. Oh. Okay, never mind. I wouldn't even. Wouldn't even do this anyways. I thought I had Undead Perish, but I guess I just don't. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're we're kind of deviating a little bit. Uh, hush. I use it for Nito. So I can use Red Tear Stone on him. Uh, Lisense, welcome back, dude. Hopefully we... Uh, what I'm concerned about is the amount of ammo, right? Like... If I go kill the Hydra... How am I gonna have enough... Spells for Sif also? And then this is also where I normally kill Andre. Like, I, I don't know what to do, man. I'm not sure what to do. Let me see if I, I... I don't think I normally level up anything here. Um... Yeah. This is gonna take... some thinking here, I think. But let's just go test... and see what happens. Like, an extra slot. When do I get the next extra slot in any percent normally? I think I get it after Seath. Actually, no, I get it. I get it after Sith normally. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to do that yet then. And I'm probably going to want to kill Andre here. I don't think there's any reason to keep him alive. Uh, I don't think you can just respell or refill spells in this game, but I could be wrong about that. Isn't that what I normally did? I thought I came up here. Hmm. Maybe that was using like Soul Arrow or something. Uh, the game order. I mean, I don't know yet, but it's probably going to be um, like Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and then Dark Souls 1 or something like that. Dark Souls 1 should be the easiest one, I think, but I guess we'll see here. I'm not sure who the hardest boss is going to be. They're like, <laughs> I don't know if... Most of them probably won't be so hard. Ostrat, for RTS are very consistent. It is it is very consistent, yeah. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut. Ever. Actually that's a good that's a good point though. I, I I don't know. I haven't really thought about the order too much. Uh, Taji, thanks for the 14 month prime sub. Welcome back. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Is there any reason ever? to like not do butterfly first? Oh, so how much? How would I set up RTSR for Moonlight Butterfly also? I wonder if I grab the Mimic Head. I, I highly doubt it. Oh. Oh, I, I used... You know what? The reason why I do Sif first is so that I can get the, the Dusk Ring.
That was... I feel like no fog ring through here is bad. Maybe it's okay, though. Oh, and I, dude. Oh, 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 I know, I know. I'm also going the wrong way. <laughs> How's it going, Donnie? Uh, routing means I'm, I'm like, figuring out the strategy to get, like, the, the order of stuff to go through the game and, like, all the strats and stuff. I remember needing, for sure, the hammer drop off of this. Okay, clearly this is not a good path either. Um, because they they can like if if I don't roller cover this, they they can land on me. I so missed it. Uh, which quite is easier? I, I find Elden Ring easier, probably. Just because there's no, like, menu delay on it. Somebody have a oh I, I grabbed the bow one. That's really bad. I'm gonna have to figure out what pathing to use through here. Or what might make this a bit more comfy is getting fog ring first, right? I think I should get fog ring, man. What do you guys think? I, I think I should get fog ring first. It's not really any time lost either, because it's not like I don't have to go down there anyways. Yeah, I, I think Fog Ring first. And then that'll make running through there a bit easier. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, and Trobit, thanks for hey, the uh, four month prime sale. have some fun challenge recommendations for we are? Um, I think the stat only runs are pretty fun. You could do some of those. Yo, shit. fuzzy nuts. Thanks for the uh, that five gifts, dude. So shit, that is such a garbage. Oh my god. I can't really remember the lineup. Not gonna lie. So that's fine. Thanks so much, dude. Make sure uh, you thank fuzzy nuts if you got a sub right there. body's basically the same. Yeah, that's true, but I don't have it yet. And it, it would be nice to have through that section, I think. And then also, not to mention, like, once I buy Hidden Body, I'm not going to immediately be able to equip it. So, because we're going to run the Sif first. Um...
accidentally just tabbed out of the game. Okay, so the way I normally do this... Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. This is another area where sorcery is just much better than the uh, melee strats. Uh, Bell's Fat, thanks for the uh, two-month prime sub, dude. Come on, game. Oh, but you know what, though? If we're going to go get Fog Ring, then we should fight the Asylum Demon. Or, or the, the Stray Demon, right? So, I guess we're going to want to do that, too. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully our setup is, is fine for him at this point. Let's go on uh, Mao. Okay, so now let's go back to Firelink. Hopefully our, our, our setup is fine. I mean, it's definitely not... Well, I have Soul Spears. Which I should have equipped. Probably. It is very... It is so annoying not having the... Fire Link Bonfire. Yeah, so, okay, here's here's what we're going to want. So, we kill Pinwheel, and then... We're going to equip Soul Spear at that Catacomb Bonfire. Like, I think the combination of Homing Soul Mass... Like, we, Great Heavy Soul Arrows, basically, like, we're not going to use it again. And then I, I could probably level up here too, I guess. Yeah, so now we're starting to... I'm starting to remember the, the reasoning behind some of the, the routing before that I had. Definitely. Think about a Tibia's summon only run. What is that? Like just the ash, the ash or the spirit ash or something? I'm not sure. Oh, the spell. Oh, I've never tried the spell. So I have no idea. I kind of feel like in my old route at this point, I would have had our Stray Demon. No, I do it immediately after Ornest, so I don't have Hidden Body then. Okay. 
Let's just start picking these guys off. Um, can't really remember Red Tearstone here. Um, when you... Okay, wait a second. When you come from Firelink, I don't remember. Do you keep the damage you had? Or do you heal? Because that, that's... Okay, that's how I did it then. So... Not sure when my last save file is. Let's figure this out. You know what? This... Getting the Iron Ring might actually be useful as well. For the Hydra, but... Let's wait for now. Okay, so... Let's try just like a maximum drop here. Anybody, anybody know how much the Stray Demon drop? Like, is, that's definitely over half your health. I don't know, let's just try maximum drop and see what happens. Maximum drop and then a heal? Hmm, <laughs> I, I don't know. There's gotta be a good setup for this, but... Because there's no way that's right. I do like a parry setup. Well, I, I mean the... Um, like the fall damage. Aim for two bars and one tick. Maybe this, I, I don't know, maybe this is okay. Because you're going to take a tiny bit more fall damage. We'll just see what happens. I, I, I need to see how much the Stray Demon fall damage is. Yeah, that is true. I do have fall control, actually. Make a save here. Clearly that won't hit the door. Devastating. Okay, so... That's obviously not right. But I also landed on the mound. Like, I'm sure there's a way that you could land not on that mound. Take a bit less damage. Or take a bit more damage, I mean. But also, the amount of... Like... I, d I didn't like the setup I had there. It was very awkward. It, it was too slow. There's got to be a faster setup. Yeah, Quiplo does affect fall damage, yeah. Yeah, fall control might be easier, but I, I, I 
kind of need these other spells as well, though. But yeah, I could. I, I mean, maybe I get 16 attunement, but... I think just figuring out a good drop here. Sure. Oh, but now I didn't take damage there. Let's just see what happens. Are these guys alive? Because I quit out or something? Almost. I guess I, I remember now I gotta kill those little guys too, I think. I remember that. Okay, so... There's no way that's enough. Maybe like four of those parries or something. Like parries are just a good way to, to time drops. Or if I wanted something slower, I could use like an unusable item. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. We're going to have to get used to using stuff like that because uh, the the Calamy kill is like also using that same animation to time stuff. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. I think if I want to be safe, I can go up on this right side to shoot these guys, but this is perfectly fine. Okay, here we go. So, let's take out the guys on the side. Which I think I I think I kind of have to, right? slammed <laughs> very solid damage though this is definitely this is definitely more of a boss fight um on the melee run and you know what i actually think um we don't need a homing soul mass here and okay new 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 strat here sorta I'm just going to have eight soul spears because I already have eight, so. And that, that'll easily kill him.
And his AI seems really bad also. I didn't... Like, when you're just at range, he's, like, turning into the corner and stuff. I'm... I don't know if that's just, like, a coincidence or something. Yeah, we don't, we don't need soul mass here, I don't think. Unless... What if I... What if I drop from, like, behind him or something? Is that even possible? Can you drop behind him, or is he too far back? Yeah, he's probably too far back, yeah. I'll, I'll test it anyways, but... Uh, Rex, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Collins, how's it going, dude? Uh, also, Fogbound Turtle, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. I think this is the right amount of uh, damage here. I remember this, the, even like these halls being very annoying with the bow. I don't know why, but... They're just kind of annoying. Okay, save. Dude, look at this AI. <laughs> what? What even is that? He doesn't. He doesn't know he can walk over the fucking pile or something. Yeah, well, this is free, I guess. He just... Like, I'm not, maybe this is some quit-out AI or something. But we'll just say it's fine for now. I mean, I'm, I'm more concerned about the actual route rather than the actual boss strats for now. This could be some quit-out AI for sure. Such a, like, even, even with a, our build is not great right now. We just have RTSR and that's it. And we're still pumping the bosses. <laughs> like, and this guy's tanky. Um, for this guy. Um, I think I just used to dodge past this guy in, in Homeward Bone. Um, which I think is fine. I do wonder if I can snipe him. a little sketchy. Uh, Dev, how's it going, dude? Uh, if you do exclamation mark song. I think that is actually what I used to do, though, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one thing I've never considered is a arrow strat. Maybe Black Knights don't turn to arrows or something. Or at least this guy doesn't. What if I free aim him? I wonder. Probably he's gonna tank it though.
That's, uh, <laughs> that's something. This is definitely what I used to do, though. I used to just run past them like this. Um, what other, what, what else could I even do? Maybe he doesn't turn because he can see me. Like a, dr a drake or something like that. I don't, I don't know how you would... Like maybe... Over here? Oh, true. I have fog ring. Yeah, true. How's it going, Hunter? That's uh, decent so far. Totally forgot I had fog ring. Ah, see, now I can turn him. Yeah, it is because he could see me. I wonder if I can just, like, turn him sideways, and then... What if I... <laughs> oh, I, th I thought he actually did see me. Can he enter? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he can enter the cell. Okay, let's just see our damage with the soul spear, then. Well, there it is, I guess. Never under- I, I was underestimating how much damage we'd be doing to him. Okay, that's uh, pretty simple. Okay, stray demon down. So that's good. And so at this point, um... Another attunement slot would be very nice right now. So that I could go with homing soul mass for Sif. And and like we need as many projectiles as possible, I think, for the Hydra. Like I, I don't know what the, the good sorcery strat is for Hydra. If there's like some safe spot I can sit and just snipe it. Um I'm gonna make a save and then I'm gonna level up, I guess. I, I think I have gadget too. So I can edit stuff. But I'm gonna go with two min for now. And then if I really wanted more projectiles. Like, I could go Great Heavy Soul Arrow, like this. Okay. So now let's go to Fire Link. First of the three games. Well, I've I've already no-hit Dark Souls 2 all bosses several times, and Dark Souls 3 all bosses several times, so this is the only game that I have to route. I, I, I just haven't done this run yet. That's why we love the demon hammer right there. Uh, I did see it, Lysense. Yeah, dude. Maybe it's impossible to get the master run on stream. It's only possible to get it when you're doing a D-Rust run off stream. That's the only way it's possible. Because, I, like, I think what Bender did is the exact same as what I did. Like, I was gearing up to start attempting that run again. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do a full practice run here. Just, I, I remember I was sick, or I was sick, and I just, I didn't really feel like streaming. And then, or maybe it was my internet was dead. It, it was one of the two, I can't remember which. And then, yeah, I just like, oh, I'll just do a practice run and 
Whoops. <laughs> there it is. Do we need anything from Andre? I don't think so. I'm not sure if I want to waste a soul spear on him, though. Maybe, uh... What does this do? I wonder if two great soul arrows is enough. That is what happens though. Like when you get to a point where you can actually start attempting a run like that, like you're, you're just good enough at the game that like, that's not a two shot. I guess I will do uh, a great heavy and then a normal. Like, our damage on Sif is going to be a little bit low. And I obviously, I could level up more intelligence. In an actual run, I'll have more intelligence at this point. I'm just, I'm not sure if I need to buy anything. Yeah, I, re I really like having Fog Ring at this point. I, I think it is, I'm, it's not even out of the way, right? Not out of the way at all. that changes our boss order slightly. <sighs> um, do I have to rest here, though? I d yeah, I certainly do. So, okay, so I guess I shouldn't have I shouldn't have set up RTSR then. And then I also could use Soul Spears then, also, right? Okay. I'm guessing, let me check the 80% levels. I just, I remember having to save souls after, yeah, after Seath, we need to have uh, enough souls to buy Crystal Soul Spear and Crystal Homing Soul Mass. Which, like, I should just be able to fully level up here, I think. And then after Sif, once we, like, on the 4 Kings Blade, I normally get to 44 Intelligence and 16 Attunement, which we're almost already at, I guess, because we killed an extra boss, right? So, I think what I'll put in for now, so we kill Stray Demon. When did I, when do I get to 16 Attunement? It's... Sixteen Attunement before Stray Demon. Or wait. No, 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 wait, that's wrong. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, I guess, but... 16 Tumen for Sif. I'm assuming that the, the souls from, like, Sif Butterfly is going to be enough so that I can buy the crystal spells. Well, actually, 
It'll easily be enough. Um, I I just totally went the wrong way. <laughs> I, I I need to figure out the pathing path here. That's why I made a save earlier. This is enough, right? Oh, it's actually not. Well, that's weird. Uh, name of the last song? I don't know, but if if you want it, like the, there is a song command that's working, excl exclamation mark song, so. And now I went too far left. This is better, though. Let's go up the left side. I could also just kill him. I'm realizing. Is there... That's so annoying. How is that not enough? Need some more armor on or something. Even though I sold all my armor. Yeah, DS2 Master Run, like, is... I don't know. Not sure about that run. Haven't really thought about it too much. I started writing a little bit of it, and then I got the Skelly Lords, and uh, it was not good. Oh my god, dude. Why? Yeah, I'm not sure if it'd be possible. One of the problems is that there's no bonfire meet for me to rest at and like refill up here. So, like, I I have to assume with the amount of ammunition I have, maybe, it'll be maybe. enough. I'll give you the best. Not. Be very surprised if it wasn't. Uh, Goldbot, thanks for the 10-month resub, dude. Okay, well, all we need is, like, a baby drop here. So, we're just gonna... Really? Can I not <laughs> take fall damage from this direction? That's fall damage? I'll just go from the other side, I guess. Um, Ivory King. I don't know how the scaling on, on the, like, White Knights works. But. I don't know. I, I like, maybe. I'll, I'll probably try to route it one day. I'm sure. I remember Easy was working on it. I'm not sure how much progress he made, though. Why does this guy aggro? Okay, that's better. 
Like, we, we just need a, a tiny bit of damage. We can even just equip a few extra things, probably. Okay, uh, save file up here. Yeah, Master, master Run... Like, I, I think it, the rules for it are, are just on a game-by-game -game basis. It's not just... Like, the Master Run and Elden Ring I did with different rules than DS3 slightly, but... Basically, it's level 1, no leveling, no upgrades on NG plus 7. Is there, is there a safe spot? I... I I don't remember how I did this before. I think I bait him out and then just like outspace it, run away. But there may be a safe spot. I'm sure there is, dude. There, there is a safe spot. Okay. Where is it, <laughs> though? see the fucking ledge at all. Uh, there is a lot of stop boosting gear in DS2, yeah. Not, not like Elden Ring, where you can get like 40 levels with one item, but yeah, there, there's quite a few. This question, should you um, not attempt using Rapier in this game? I mean, I would if you haven't used it before, sure. I know a lot of people just like bow down Hydra, but it's obviously way slower. I should... Um... ESR Gadget. It's a miracle that this actually works for me because on my on my other PC, um, like gadget and ER tool, they just didn't work for some reason. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut. Okay, ever. surely I can just no death. There we go. Uh, the dude's rug. Thanks for the brand new prime sub. I wonder if there's a hitbox viewer on this thing. Is, is there really a safe spot here? Because <laughs> it, it doesn't... Oh. Looks a little questionable. Why do they drag me back?
Like, and, and the way they attack isn't... It's not the same every time, right? I didn't know you could bait them from... Like, this is kind of far away. I wonder if you can hit multiple with one soul spear. See, the problem is that attack. You get that attack and you just lose your run, basically. Devastating. What a brutal attack that is. It's just so so garbage. Why are they I think they're just I'm getting far away. Also I'm I'm not even supposed to use soul spears, probably. I should probably use the, the great heavies. Because I want the soul spears for the boss. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Happy to be here. Oh my god, how, like, they really don't queue up their attack early. Uh, Hender, thanks for the two-month resub, dude. <clears throat> I probably could just go with like more soul spheres. I, I didn't realize how quickly he was gonna die. Okay, they, they, I mean, they must be queuing that up, like, super fucking early. Because otherwise, that just makes no sense. Hmm. I'm going to grab more soul spears. Just, like, keep the double soul spear, I think. Yeah, and then we'll have five soul spears for, uh, <clears throat> for Sif, which should be more than enough, I think. 
Uh, I did see that uh, square. <clears throat> Obviously, I had this figured out at one point in time with like the crystal halberd, but. I just got to test it a tiny bit. I definitely did the strat, like, I, I definitely just baited out an attack and then. Or baited out the attack, did one sprint attack with the halberd, which was like bugged, right? It was super quick. And then just repeat that. Just out spacing. Ever no hit DS1 all bosses? I have not. Which is why which is why I'm doing this right now. I routed it a long time ago, but I just never like did it. Why is the audio bug? Also, how am I missing? Like, how do they do a water here? I just, I don't understand. They, they, like, as soon as I break ahead, it must just immediately queue up an attack, right? Yeah, I know the firebomb cheese, you That was pretty good. Uh, well, Hydra, you need to kill to get to the DLC, right? I looked really good, actually, right there. Get that kill. Well, the golden golem doesn't show up until you kill the Hydra. Unless I'm just really stupid and that's not true, but. Like you kill this guy and then you quit out and then the golden golem's there. That's how it works, I think. Not a DS1 expert, though. I mean, surely I could line up another hit there. Maybe, maybe I'm the best nut ever. Alex, the average. Thanks for the uh, eight month prime sub, dude. Yeah, this is this is a great kill here. Like this is why 
I didn't, you know, I know the firebomb strat. I know the bow strat. This is much better. Um. That didn't look good. How did that happen? Why did that happen? I could stop sliding. I think there's just a faster way I can do this. I'm really concerned about getting hit now on the way down here. Like, how did that happen? Just like fucking massive hitbox, I guess. Okay, yeah, maybe going for those left guys is better. I just saw boss run of the three. I think Dark Souls 3, well, it, it's a toss up. Like, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 are both hard for different reasons, I think. dude yeah maybe yeah maybe i can just run in close and spam three attacks i'm gonna try it i'm all scared of this hitting me now though
surely that's safe. <laughs> uh, one sec, you guys. I'm just going to adjust my camera lighting really quick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, surely that's safe. That'd actually be a very nice strat, though. I wonder how they kill this guy in the speed run, like with sorcery. Like, I'm sure that there's a good strat there that they'd use. It does feel a little risky, though, but I, I do wonder if once you break that middle head, if you're just safe there. Is that the North Pole? Not quite. Definitely not safe. So it is, so it is risky then. Yeah, we can definitely just get an insta kill here. Is it possible they they actually do get iframes there, or am I just really bad? The first two shots are really easy. It's just getting that... I, I don't know where to shoot on that last one. Speedrun, they kill Hydra with two Soul Spears? Really? They might do this later, then, or something. I wonder, or, or yeah, they might have like the tin crystallization catalyst by now or something like that. I think I figured it out. So we do one shot, roll twice, aim up, shoot again, roll twice again, aim up again. Boom. I think that's it. Yeah, I find this fun to do, Ray. Like, this is, um, like, testing stuff out like this. It might, maybe it doesn't seem like I'm having fun or something, but... I like all this routing and testing stuff actually far more than actually uh, doing the runs. Clean. And, and it's perfect because I just aim at max camera height for those other two and it's like very simple. Alright, quit out. I wonder what I should kill this golem with here actually. Probably just great soul arrows.
Oh. Damn, he's tanky as fuck. That's really bad, actually. In the speed run, what do they kill him? Oh, maybe I could use the lightning spear, actually. That's probably much better. Prefer Tim Hortons or McDonald's coffee? I've never tried either. I don't drink coffee, really, so... Yeah, maybe lightning spears to play. Oh, kill it in, in, in two soul spears? Is it, are they using crystal soul spears or normal soul spears? A new save here, I guess. Wow, no. Dang. Yeah, maybe they have like a, a shit ton more souls or something. Most likely it. Oh. Soul Spear is just way better, obviously. I'm just I'm concerned I'm not gonna have enough for Sif though. If I if I'm using all these Soul Spears. Also I do wonder if I go slumbering and fog ring. Uh, I drink tea, like, sometimes. Hmm. I wonder if I can turn him with an arrow. Oh, I guess I maybe do need a counter hit or something. This guy's a god, dude. How does he hear me from so far away? How did that miss? <laughs> How did I miss him? Let me try the lightning spear on him. I just, I just want to see. Like, maybe he's weak to lightning or something. Um, I don't, I don't drink normal soda, but I, I drink, like, some other one. Ah, it's almost enough, actually.
Something something like this might work. Well, it's just like a zero sugar one. But it's not diet. It's called ZV. I drink it on stream like all the time. Where are you attacking? Holy shit, that tracking. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna do soul mass and then melee him, but he turned around in time. I don't, I don't really like that very much, actually. That might, that might be the play. <laughs> Won't make you know it, Elden Ring. It might, dude. Uh, I don't drink alcohol, no. I wonder, wait, how close... Oh. That, I mean, that looks pretty good to me, dude. R1, R1, R2 with the lightning spear. Yeah, it probably should be, yeah, R1, R1, R2. Okay, I, I think, I, I mean, oh. Unless he could somehow, it, it looks like he's pretty slow to react. So, I think this is safe. I think this is good. Maybe that arrow was bad. Maybe I should shoot it like on top of him so it makes sure he turns around. I'm just adding to my notes here.
Yeah, I think this is a good strat. I just need to, like, refine it, make sure it, I know what I'm going to do every time. Um, let's swap to that. What if I just shoot it right above him? Okay, so now, um, let's swap back on the fog ring. I think now is where we want to go get hidden body. Well, yeah, I could just fight him, but, like, not fighting is safer, right? <laughs> it's less chance of messing it up. I do wonder if I should Homeward Bone here. Like, after? It's got to be faster than climbing the ladder, right? If there were to me, I am... Yeah, it's got to be faster. Yeah, and so actually, because of that, now I have all my soul spears again. So we're actually totally fine. Uh, I did play Cuphead, yeah. I, I was planning on doing like no damage on it at one point in time. Okay. I guess one, well, actually, okay, one downside is that now we don't have RTSR for Sif. Oh, the Dust Crown. Oh, I was supposed to buy that, right? Or. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about that, actually. Let me just do this again. When I'm thirsty and need to take a piss, which one do I go for first? Obviously a piss, dude. That's no brainer, man. Do I quit out here to get the Crown of Dusk, or is it after I... Man, our damage is going to be so just disgusting. You summon and then quit out? Okay. Okay. I, I totally forgot about the Crown of Dusk. How much, how much bonus does it give you on sorceries? Is it like 20%? Oh, you don't even have to quit out. Oh, okay. That's why I remember this run being very fun because you just get so much damage on it. And, and, and we're going to have even more this time because we actually are going to pure sorcerer build instead of crystal halberd. So we have bellowing, red tear stone, and a crown of dusk. <laughs> so... This isn't a better catalyst, right? 180? I mean, let me just see. I'm just curious. 
significantly worse. Okay. A hidden body, and then do I... For a very long... the source... How do I get the Crown of Dusk, though? If thou art in me, I... Do I... Oh, do I kill her? I kill her, don't I? Oh, I go back to where the... Is it the necklace? I, I don't know, man. Let me just quit out and see what happens. Will I have to go back again? <laughs> I, I don't remember doing this. Oh, you know, maybe I do remember. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I just kill her. Cause this is a lot of back. Let me try. Uh, I'm gonna reload. And I'm gonna try killing her and just see what happens. I don't. I don't know if I remember killing her, but. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. This is why, kind of why I wish I had... Like, I guess I could go lo look at another video, but... I just wish I remember what I did on my route, because I would have, like, thought about all this stuff. Oh, you, you don't get it by killing her? Okay, well then... No, I, I, I know it was there, but I just... Somebody said I could get it while killing her, so I'm just going to try it and see. Now, when I did the all bosses run before, I I wouldn't have. Um... Wait, why is there another sum? There's two summon signs here, or it moves. That's weird. If thou art in. Unfortunate. Oh, wait a second. Does the item... Do I need to summon her? I, I need to summon her and then go back for the item, right? Like, I can't just quit out back there and get the item. It's a little annoying. Kind of slow, but... What can you do? Wait, where are you? Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best okay. ever. Uh, Fatty Jesus, thanks for the uh, eight-month prime sub. And Arcander, or Arcader, thanks for the um, three-month prime sub. A little bit of downtime here, but I, I yeah, for sure. And when I did my other routing, I would have just picked up this item as I came into the DLC, because I obviously wasn't using sorcery before this point. But definitely makes sense to get it here, I think. There it is. Okay.
save walking back and forth. It, it, what, if you kill her before saying yes or something? But I need to buy Hidden Body, though, which I can't do until I summon her, right? I do actually recall setting up RTSR here, I think. That should be enough, I think. Okay, this is a this is a pretty significant split on this run. I'm interested to see if if having the Crown of Dusk will sort of make up for not having the crystal versions of of the spells. Well, actually, I don't have the Tin Crystallization Catalyst, so this this should be this should be quite a bit less damage, I th I think, than I usually have. Huh. Still pretty solid. Yeah, when I get that opening on on the um, on my any percent, I I instantly get to like the limp phase, or or maybe it's even just a one shot if all the soul mass hit. It's just a little bit less damage. Still pretty good. Yeah, and then I guess we'll go do moonlight butterfly right away as well. Um, I'm just, I'm concerned about my Homeward Bones. Like, we actually have enough so far. I think. Because we're going to use one here. We get one from this boss. And then, I think you get another one from Moonlight Butterfly, so. Oh, wow. That was not good. All right, nice, man. That's good. So at this point, let's go do this other segment. I'm really hoping we just go in and one-shot this boss because this fight is so annoying. When I was doing this run before, this fight was it's just it's just annoying and it wastes a lot of time. Not sure a, a red tear stone set up here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How high up was that? I think that was here, right? That works too. Let me just do it one more time. Okay, yeah, I should do the upper one.
Okay, so how is this fight gonna work? <laughs> I guess like that. even better. Uh, it's going really good so far, uh, Scoliosis. It's more just about timing this properly. And I, I get a homeward, but yeah. Or maybe that no, that was the one I got from Sif, I guess. I think you get a homeward bone up there, maybe, but I don't think we have to go up there. All right, dude, there we go. That's that's clean. That's so clean, dude. And so now we come back here. Um, we can level up a little bit. Forty-eight intelligence. We, we do need to save 20k, I believe. Let me just check my any percent. I remember needing to save 20k per seeth. Yep. Oh, this is, this is so clean so far. This route is, is looking really nice, man. I saved the 20k. Now let's go back to Anor Londo. I do wonder if at this point in the run we should just go into the, the painting. Like, we don't have Dark Bead yet, so I might as well just wait, but... Like, what 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 my plan is? So we already have access to the DLC. And, um... Yeah, so, so we'll just go kill Seath, get our Crystal Soul Mass, Crystal Homing Soul Mass, and Crystal Soul Spear. And then that's it. Like, and we'll go into the DLC, go get Dark Bead, and, uh, and then, yeah, then we're finishing the rest of the run from there, basically. wonder, you can't sneak past these guys with Hidden Body or something, can you? We don't, we just, we don't need Hidden Body yet. Although, maybe it's good to have, uh, I don't know. How much better is Hidden Body than Dark Bead? Like maybe I should actually go back and... Seriously? Oh, that's so annoying. I'll just... Reload this save here. Uh, DS2 is not my favorite game. This route's looking really nice so far, dude. I, I'm I'm very interested to see the um the DLC fights with the crystal sorcery. So I should probably swap out this one for hidden body. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't. I. And Orlando looks nice, but I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 area. The actual area itself is pretty uninteresting, I would say. It does look. It looks. It is a 10 out of 10, though. Yeah. And yeah, I could also put on Dust Crown for extra casts, which probably won't come in handy, but who knows? Like the most useful thing, the Crown of or, or the Dust Crown Ring, is just being able to half my health for Red Tear Stone. I wonder if that's safe. I would assume I can hit this guy from here. Huh? What on earth? How is that not hitting him? Adding on, like, Fog Ring doesn't give you more stealth or anything, does it? Maybe, maybe I'll give you Yeah, I might not be able to just ever. do that. Geo on the run prep machine are flushed. I guess I don't even really have to kill those other guys if we have hidden body, but. Dang, hidden body is so good. <laughs> Almost too good. I'm kind of concerned something's going to go wrong because... Okay, let me let me just do this section again. Very nice and easy though. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Machine of flex. Um Cassie, thanks for the five month resub, and Hazi, thanks for the six month resub as well. I'm gonna see what happens if I just go up here and. Oh man. How good is that, dude?
Beautiful. You'd agree DS3 is better than the DS1? Um... It's hard to say. I mean, I like DS3 more than DS1. But also, like, DS3 came out later and it was my first one, so I don't know. Dang, that's that's nice, man. Oh. Interesting. I, I think I'm a bit heavy here. Probably because of the crown, maybe? Take up the shield. Can't I lock on? You just can't lock. What the fuck? I, I don't normally kill him, but I, I just thought. Ah, <laughs> Jesus. Why can't you lock onto him? So weird. They probably did that on purpose. Uh, I definitely like Sekiro better than Bloodborne. I shouldn't need the uh, Dust Crown Ring because the RTSR setup I use here is pretty simple. Yeah, it's true. I could free aim him. I, I don't think I was doing that on any percent, though. Like, I, I'm not... Oh. What the fuck? It's interesting. Usually that guy doesn't uh, come out that quickly. Oh yeah, actually, I normally take off Bog for that guy. Oh. It's actually not enough, man. Because I landed on the... Ah. Oh. What a mistake. I did lose a run like this one time, because I was going back up and this guy was aggroed still, but... He's not this time. No, this is good for sure. And there's another drop, so. But yeah, I normally don't have fog ring on for any of that. I don't know. I don't think that's a terrible take to, to not want to or like secure looks like a pain to play if you're not into If you're not into like games that are challenging like action games that are like revolving around difficulty then 
Like, that's perfectly reasonable to not want to play them. Especially Sekiro, where you... A lot of the appeal for me in, in a Dark Souls game is not in Sekiro, right? There's no, like, build variety and stuff. And, and a lot of time, the fun part of a Souls game is getting... Being able to get OP, if that's what you're into, so... This is going to be a lot of damage. I messed up, I think, actually. Or, no, I didn't. Jesus, a four shot. That's actually interesting because... I guess I don't actually need the other copy of Soul Spear if that's going to take four hits. But we, we still want to use it for, like, other things, so I think it's still worth it. But in, in any percent, the entire reason why you get all those copies of Soul Spear is specifically for this boss. So. Okay, so then what is next? I think just DLC next. Oh no, actually no, we gotta go. The whole reason why we came here. Sure is fun, but you have to enjoy struggling. Yeah, I mean, that's that's true with all these games, I think, but it's probably more so true with Sekiro. And, and yeah, it, for sure, some people are the opposite. Some people, they, you know, they get overwhelmed in a Souls game of the amount of, like, options you have and don't like picking or whatever, so Sekiro's a lot simpler. You just, like, go in and you just fight the bosses, right? I think next will be... Uh, Sanctuary Guardian. Like I, I think with, there's no reason for me to not just go straight into the DLC from here. So Crystal Soul Spear. Crystal Homing Soul Mass, 30k. That's why, see, we have the perfect number of souls here. Come again. And the staff, so. Uh, distorts, or distorts, how's it going, dude? No big hat on this run, because we actually need the, uh, dust crown. Okay, uh, so I don't really know the build for Sanctuary Guardian yet. But, I mean, I'll just swap out one of these and then swap out that and we'll call this good for now. How? Wait a second. I mean, I guess I just have to run back, right? Is there any... Right? I just have to run back. There's not really anything I can do about it. I'm just trying to think of what I did before. I could just go from the parish, right? Which I don't even have. I don't even have the parish. Which I, I probably would have normally, though. I kind of have to go, go to the bathroom really quick, you guys. I'll be back in a second.
Okay. I, I actually, I remembered, um... I remembered some things. So, what I did in my previous route, and, and this is kind of a, a large reason of the boss order, is I, the last bonfire I rested at before Seath was that bonfire, like, um, bef like that, that bonfire that's right before the uh, crest of Artorias door. And so that, that's like what the ret would do. So And so I, I kill Seath, immediately homeward bone, and then I'd be back at that bonfire, but we can't really do that here because we need to get this one so that I can uh, bone back to get the sorceries, right? So I think... I think what I have to do is just get the Undead Parish Bonfire. And, uh, and just go from there. I mean... It's certainly slower, but... I, I don't know how else I could really do it. So... Well, like, I, I really should watch the All Bosses speedrun. To see what they do, because... Like, presumably, they would kind of have a similar situation, right? Yeah, see what boss order they do for that. Or, do, or does anybody know, like, what they do? Well, it, just, just like, what, what bonfire they go from to get to the DLC? How's it going, Timmy? Yeah, I'll, I'll check a run eventually. For now, I'll just go from the parish, but... Because I, I can't... I don't really know how that would... The most efficient way to do that, then. Well, I don't know if this runs would be the most up-to-date. I, I mean like an up-to-date all bosses speed run in this game. Hmm, and I guess, you know what? While we're here, we could pick up this bonfire and... Uh, this killed Gwendolyn goes directly to Darkroot Basin. But, like, which bonfire, though? Like, I'm, I'm just thinking what I could maybe do is get this bonfire and, and go kill... Oh, the crust one. Yeah, see? So... So, yeah, what he would have done then is do Seath and then do Gwendolyn. M maybe even Maybe even do Priscilla on that section and then just the whole time your, your last bonfire that you rest at is that 
um, Artorius one. But it's just the, the problem we're having, and, and this is why, like, I think that route probably wasn't a sorcery route, right? Was it? But the problem here is that, you know, we kill Seath, and then we want to get our spells after, lo after um... Like, we want to get our spells from Logan, right? And so I think we need to rest at that bonfire. Unless, like, if I just... Lighting a bonfire isn't enough to be able to warp to it in this game, right? Like, you maybe, actually have to rest at it? I'll give you the best nut Because otherwise, what I could do is light it. If I can. I, I don't think you can, but... I could light it and then, you know, go kill Seath. Run through to the DLC. Get the bonfire in the DLC. And then go back and buy the, the spells. But I don't think you can do that, right? Uh, Q again, thanks for the, um, brand new prime stuff, dude. But, yeah, what I'm thinking right now is I could pick up this bonfire. Go kill, um, go kill Taurus Demon right now. Maybe Taurus and Capra Demon right now, and then, or, or, or what else? And uh, I guess even Gaping Dragon. PS1 just I, I don't think lighting is enough. I think you have to rest at it, but I'm I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh random login account. Thanks for the hundred bits, dude. I I kinda like the idea of doing something like this, man. It it seems like it's efficient. That is one thing that's cool about this game that I, I do like is when when you're writing stuff, like maybe it's kind of annoying on normal playthroughs, but not being able to port to every bonfire and having to like think about this. What's up, Connor? Um, what I say is the setup, like the, the, the routing versus actually getting the run or, or what do you mean? I, I think for, for most people, most no hit runners, it takes a lot longer to get the run than to like route it. But for me, it's usually the opposite. Usually, I spend most of my time routing it, and then actually getting it doesn't take as long. Uh, Anthony, how's it going, dude? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I actually don't have any homeward bones right now, but I could dark sign or something. We could just do this string of bosses now, but we don't have dark bead. But we have crystal soul spear, so like we shouldn't need dark bead, right? And we have the Tin Crystallization Catalyst as well. It's kind of complicated. I, I don't I I don't know what I should do, but I I think this is efficient though. Anyways, I'll make a save and we'll go do it and just see what it's like. I mean, we're gonna uh, uh, completely annihilate these bosses. I think. I'm always just chilling it in the wall there, or... Like, do I even need RTSR, is what I'm wondering. He's gonna die in one hit.
It wasn't one hit, I guess. Uh, no, it's not only using magic. This this will be the only run I use magic in, or like primarily magic. The other other routes will be mostly melee routes. I I didn't put uh, I didn't put. Uh, We're gonna one shot him. I, I didn't I didn't have the bellowing ring on. Uh, DS2 all bosses just mainly rapier. Nice, we got a homeward bone as well. It's good. Oh, I I need to get the, the key first. Or Okay, wait a second. Or do I just kill Taurus Demon and then just leave? And homeward bone. Because yeah, I should probably do the skip. Yeah. Okay, I guess I guess we'll do that, right? Cuz I don't I don't really see where else it would make sense to kill Taurus demon. So Yeah, we'll probably just have to go from Firelink down to Taurus demon or, or down to Capra demon, which we'll do later. Okay. How do you spell this guy's name? Maybe Is maybe it is it US Taurus? Not ever. Good luck, Geno Machino. Seems Hi. about right. Okay, so we kill him. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut. Homeward bone immediately. I forgot my sub. I was waiting to go to PC. Uh, Dahlia, thanks for the eight month resub and the good luck. And Boosla, thanks for the um, seven month resub, dude. Let me see again. Bed of Chaos. Like, how would I have gotten back to Taurus Demon? I must have just gone to Undead Parish and then run back, right? Like, that doesn't really... That's not good, though. That doesn't make any sense. And then I did Capra Demon after, which... Like, did I not do the skip or something? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really understand it. I don't really understand. Go down from the shortcut. Uh, what, like, you mean the key, though, right? Pure Hellkite, you can go to Undead Berg Bonfire? Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best oh, that's, not I guess ever. that's true. Need my machino machinos emote. Wait. Um Is that even better though? Bonfire below the bridge, Drake? Yeah, yeah, like the, the su Ultra of Sunlight bonfire you're saying. Uh, Paradox, thanks for the six-month prime sub, dude. This is complicated, man. I, I don't know what's the best. 
I will for sure check out a speedrun route and see what boss order they do. But I mean, so far there's not like what we're contemplating. There's nothing wrong with doing it any way, really. It's just I, I want to be efficient, so that's why I'm thinking about it a lot. It it shouldn't really have any effect on the difficulty of the run because we're set up and the one under the bridge. Yeah, but can you even warp to that one? I don't think you. I I didn't think you could, but. But yeah, that that that's maybe sounds actually familiar. Doing doing it that way and then just backtracking through the berg, and then just doing the skip from there. Like, is that better than going from Firelink? Like, maybe. Maybe I should reload a save back to Taurus and and go that direction. I feel like I remember picking up the key in all bosses no hit though. But I I don't know, maybe that was not maybe I was just like <sighs> testing it. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh let's go try it. Let's go try it. I think I'm gonna use hidden body here. Uh, nice, uh, Marius. Mariazillasaurus. Nice, dude. Where's the key? Uh, the key is near the parish. Like, it's, it's on the other side of the gate, I believe, right? Here's the easiest No It's Souls game. It, it's, I, I would say Demon Souls is. Demon's Souls is easier for sure. Did I go too far? Oh my god, how was I not getting hit right there? Maybe I don't need to cast Hidden Body again. One shot half the game? Yeah, basically. And we don't even have... Don't even have Dark Weed yet. But yeah, it, it would be a nice sequence of bosses to do Taurus Demon into Capra Demon into um, Gaping Dragon, right? Like, that's that's uh, an order of bosses that makes a lot of sense. I, I can rush for Dark Beat at this point, but we don't need Dark Beat on these easier bosses or these like weaker bosses, I don't think. You know what I also remember? I Maybe I'm getting runs mixed up, but I remember fighting... Chorus De or I remember fighting Capra Demon with the Halberd, but how does that make sense? Okay, gonna make another save here. Skip Gaping Dragon. Well, this is... Uh, yeah, we can skip Gaming Dragon, but this is an all-bosses run, so... Gotta kill him. I... I don't remember doing this in my other route, but... Probably the reason I never did this is because I... Um, the reason I, 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 I would have gone through the other direction, right? Like, I think the other direction is probably just easier, man. Right? 
right? Because I just got to kill a couple enemies, and we have the sorcery, so... I wonder if I get hit over here. Yeah, that looks safer, probably. I'm gonna have maybe a little overkill for these guys, but... Like, in fact, I would probably want to... I would probably want to rest here, actually. We'd want to rest, and then I probably want... We keep hitting body, but just great Solero, so I can just take out the little guys. This is pretty simple going from this way, though, man. Like, that's it. Then we just go do the skip again. Actually, there's... Okay, never mind. There's a couple more guys. Holy shit, dude. The slow motion firebomb. I wonder if I can just run through. No way, right? Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh. Uh, Leely, thanks for the 10 month resub. Welcome back. I have homeward or hidden body here if this guy sees me. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Also, obviously, we'd want RTSR too, though. Uh, Sleepy, thanks for the brand new prompt sub. This is probably more complicated than just going the proper way, right? Getting the key. But it's probably faster, though. Because I, I usually don't really go anywhere near that key. Uh, Tin Catalyst, I just killed Logan. Or I can go from the other direct, or, or I can just go from Firelink, right? Like. I guess from Firelink, there's just a few more guys to kill.
Oh. Dude, the whole reason I restarted that was to set a bread tier stone. I just didn't do it. Mean iron golem for, for what? If I wanted to be safe, it's probably a good idea to, like, at least kill this guy. Oh. I have way too much health gone, actually. Let's just see. I feel like, because I take some damage here, too. Oh, I don't. Okay, good. Nice. So, at this point... Oh, do these guys just aggro regardless? They might. Like the, I would assume I can't just shoot the thing, right? Okay, well, let's see if a normal firebomb kills. I just, I really doubt it. I'd have to buy some black firebombs. I, I wonder how I did this... Like, on the other run. I, I might just need to buy black fire bombs, dude. Unless there's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember how I would have done this before. Oh, wow, that doesn't kill him. Oh, I didn't have red tears to mom. It's too bad they have a scripted aggro because...
And then obviously the problem with this strat is the dogs are gonna... Like, everybody's still aggroed. Also, why do the dogs not die when you kill the boss? That's... <laughs> that's really stupid. That's dumb. There's no way you can't get knifed in the back right there. I, I probably killed these dogs with a bow. Um... Which I actually easily could do, now that I think about it. But then the assassin's a problem. Because, like, yeah, we still have feather arrows, so... I. I don't think I can get to the other one without triggering these guys. Use a skull? I don't have any skulls. Oh! Might be a way to sneak past them actually or I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know I could do that. kind of annoying yeah black fire bombs do pass through the door it's just i i don't have enough and so i i would like to do this without them if i can Let's see if I can shoot him in the face. Hurt. Oh, I, how does it not have like any splash on it? The problem with shooting their feet is that it won't one-shot them. Devastating.
<laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh. How'd that happen? Yeah, the lightning spear is really good. Very handy to have that. I like that. Oh. I guess maybe I need Hidden Body there or something. Hidden Body would allow me to get close enough for that, probably. Okay. Oh, Magic to the Feet, maybe, actually. That could work. I just got to really be careful of that dog because that dog probably would aggro. Okay, that's that's pretty clean. Um Just the guy behind the door here. I wonder if he's even... Yeah, he aggros. I can't like drop past this somehow, can I? <laughs> Just lightning spear him again, dude. Easy. Let me try that again. Like this mage system better Elden Rings, like you're saying with the blue bar? I, I like the blue bar, blue bar more, I think. Yeah, that's it's definitely a hitbox there. <laughs> I just had to reach him, dude. Well, I'm not complaining. Okay. So this next section. 
I do remember doing the skip here. Um, it's just like a little jump. Oh, I don't actually take fall damage. Oh. That's good, though. You don't take fall damage, so I guess that probably means I can just... Keep my RTSR going the whole time. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Like, I, I don't... There's, I, I don't think there's any reason for me to take out the, um... Oh. How did he chase me, actually, if I've read to, uh... Dark. Maybe some, like, joint aggro or something. <sighs> um... This is definitely a boss where I... Th I think Dark Bead might be better. Like, significantly better. Let's just see, though. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. I don't even think my soul spear hit right there. I'm pretty sure he just died. For the soul mass. Oh wow, that was a really bad jump. Uh, there is no map in Dark Souls One. Well, I don't. I don't have. There's no point in killing the Chandler because I have stealth, so he doesn't see me. There we go. Although I don't I don't know how much I like that. Anna. Like as my character looks. Well, it's because I'm hollowed. There's, there's no point in going human in one of these runs. In fact, it's actually bad because then you start getting invaded and stuff. Yeah, I don't I'm not gonna get power within. It's so out of the way. Like, there's just no point. Maybe, maybe. I'll what if I do mouse and keyboard for ever. this? Oops. No, I can't. I can't just go straight and jump fast enough. Uh, uh, 
and do the quick turn jump? What does that mean? Daniel, thanks so much for the tank of subs, dude. So shit. Make sure, uh, that is such a garbage. Make sure you thank uh, Daniel oh if you got a sub right there. Thanks God. so much, dude. I don't remember the dog ever aggroing either, somehow. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah, thanks so much, uh, Daniel, dude. I could just not do the skip, also. Like... Yo, and they that wrapped. So Thanks for the shit. uh five give the subs so as well. Shit. That is Dang. such a garbage. Make sure you think uh wrapped if you got a sub oh right my there. God. I feel, kind of feel like if you're just quick enough, the dog doesn't matter. Okay, how much is that? So, like, I don't think Gaming Dragon does that opening every time, right? Maybe he does. Does anybody know? Does Gaming Dragon do that opener every time? Let's go on full in. Yeah, not every time. I guess maybe that's safe. I, I I don't know, dude. Maybe what I just did there is fine. That jump, it just, it just it does feel a little risky, though. Like if I miss the jump, or if the dog follows somehow. See the f oh, was there a fight at the end of the game? But no, I didn't see that. I, I didn't watch any. What, what was the score? Dark B probably would be a little bit better than this, but...
You know, see if we got a homeward bone here, or actually, what what does this merchant sell? What does the merchant sell back here? Please have a homeward bone. Oh, he's... Why oh, is he not here? Some gameplay progression thing? After... Oh, killed Seath? Yeah. I don't know. Let me just, I'm just reloading this one. I'll see if he's here. Yeah, he's not here. I'll just probably have to dark sign after this fight. Oh no, I dude. <laughs> Never mind. That's nice. I love when things just work out. I just realized something, dude. If we're going to do this running section, like kind of the whole point was that I can homeward bone back to deep root or dark root. But ha there's no way, right? Okay, let me load way, way back. What's the point of doing this string boss? It's just so that I get the, the dark root bonfire, like where the Howard Black Knight is, and then I can warp back to it. Like, it's just more efficient. But... What is this save file here? It's a little far back. Well, that, that's a, that's just what I'm thinking, but I don't know. No, I'm definitely not going to backtrack. No. Like, I only have one hidden body left. Dude. Now I'm going to need hidden body like numerous times here. Okay, I'm going to load the previous save. Yeah, I, I might just do that, Groovage. Like, this is maybe getting a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, Ot Sosa, how's it going, dude?
Um, what I'm wondering... Kind of annoying. I could kill them, obviously, but... Let me see if they aggro with this setup. There we go. Oh wait, they they can aggro like that? Or with with this ring setup they can? Picking up the key? Uh which key do you mean? Oh yeah, you're right. But then they de aggro, though. Uh, but yeah, the. the I, I could get the. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Also, my, my spell setup's actually just wrong here. I think. Uh, 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 Licks, thanks for the, uh, brand new sub, dude. I might just, dude, I might just not do this and run back from Undead Parish instead. Just go, like, straight to the DLC. But no, the key doesn't, like, I, the key's not, the key means I have to kill more enemies in the lower end of Berg, which I don't really want to do. Probably gonna end pretty soon. But, uh, there's, there's honestly not too much more to figure out. Because we've, we've gotten our setup. We just need Dark Bead and then that's it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's really... It, it's... It's probably not worth complicating this more. Like, I can just do... I can just do that string of bosses later and just run from the Parish... But I like I kind of want to try though still And see this is why I don't really like the spell cast system because it's very annoying in this game and DS2 is a bit better because you can refill it with an item But in this game, I don't think you can How many bosses in Trilogy? Yeah, well, 41 plus 26 plus 25. So whatever that is. 80 or 92 or something, something like that. I don't, I don't know. Not as, I, I don't think that's as many as... Or how many are God Run three? It's similar. Okay. So in this case, you didn't aggro.
Maybe I shouldn't waste that and I should just use a homing soul mass. I'm gonna use a homing soul mass. I think that's probably better. Uh, pl question about Placidusax? Uh, sure, dude. No guarantee I'll have a good answer, though. Okay, so I don't really want to use Hidden Body here, but I, I could use it, I think. It would also be better if I don't have to kill all these enemies here. Like, just to save some great soul arrows, because I do need, like, three for, or two dogs, plus the extra guy, plus... I don't know, let's, let's just kill him and see how it works out. Okay, so then we're gonna do this, and then this. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Do that. Okay, so we do want hidden body here, I think. Uh, yeah, the skip is totally fine. I mean, it's just uh, just parkour skip. Yeah, we do we do have enough hidden bodies for sure. Can use one here. Oops. If I didn't want to use a hidden body, actually, no, I need a hidden body here. Well, I probably don't need it, but I think it's going to be nice to have for the dog. Okay, so yeah, this is this is clean. Super clean, dude. We've got um, Hidden Body still. We have Crystal Soul Spear. We've got the four, crystals, the, the four Crystal Soul Mass. Beautiful. So I guess this will work out, this little uh, detour, sort of. It's not a detour, but... I'd really like to see what other, uh, like, openings he can do here. So, so yeah, now when I bone out, I'll be right back at the dark route. And, uh... 
Yeah, we just go from there, dude. Perfect. Uh, what's up, Blackbird? I forget, is there, is there Morian Blade in this game? I don't think so, right? I just, I, I, I want to do this until I see another opening. Oh. Actually, I wonder if I even need Hidden Body here. Because I don't know if we're at enough of an angle. Oh yeah, there he is. I thought he was more to the left for some reason. For magic uh, FP. I, I like FP better. Yeah, the soul spear is not even necessary. So I, I could use one on Taurus, but I'm going to keep it just in case something goes wrong or whatever. Please do another opening. Is it, is it actually like for sure it's possible for him to do something else? Almost never. Well, I just, I want to be prepared in case he actually does something else here. Oh, dude, Dan, thanks for the $50, man. Thanks so much, dude. A legend. Please do something else. Like, I don't want him to be able to do anything else, but I just want to see it if it happens. Like, like what, what could he do? Like, the charge or something? If he didn't do that, what would he do? Oh, the jump. Oh, he just walks? Yeah, that's probably I, I probably should use a soul spear just regardless. I'll have to, I'm just going to have to test this later, I guess, or I don't know. I just, I want to see him do something else if it's possible. I did a lot of PvP in DS3, Connor. I do probably want to swap to uh, Soul Spear again here, but oh, Capra can do another opening. I just I kind of assume that I'd I'd be fast enough regardless, though, just based on the distance.
like the pigs with Alana. Well, I don't. I mean, I guess sorta. Wait, one hit PB on this run to the. Like what? What's the rare Capra demon opening then? Is that with sorcery or is that with melee or something? Please tell me it's with melee and not sorcery. Using dark bead? Is there a clip? Because dark bead is just as fast as crystal soul spear, so... But yeah, actually, maybe you do have to be a bit closer with Dark Beat. I don't know. Because I, I just fire immediately. And I, it feels like nothing should be able to hit me. Even, even the fast swipe, but... I don't know, dude. I, I would like to see a clip just to see if it's, like, comparable to what I do. Okay, so now this is a boss. Like, I'm not going to be able to just walk in and one-shot this boss. I also didn't set up Red Tearstone. Which, obviously, I would need. Maybe, maybe I'll give you uh, Ben Spector, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub, dude. Also, Lewis, thanks for the, the one year uh, Prime Sub, dude. But yeah, it's, it's really like stuff like that is really annoying to me when, you know, a boss has like a, a very rare attack that it can do because it's so hard to test, right? When you're, when you're finding strats and you're testing, like there's certain strats where you're testing just to see, like all you need it for is for it to work once. And then once it works once, you're like, okay, this, this is good, right? But there's also other strats where um, you know, like the boss opening or the Valley of the Drake strat where you, you, you got to test it like a shit ton because, you know, you're not just looking for it to work once. You're looking for it to work every time. All right. So an example of the, uh, the other would be like the half light strat, right? Once the half light strat, like once you find it or once I found it, it's like, okay, this is, I mean, this works and that's it. Um, is that enough? Imagine losing a run like that. Oh, maybe I need the hammer for this. I'm gonna try with the hammer. Uh, you can do exclamation mark song, uh, Nanad, but it's it's all along the watchtower. There we go. 
Hammer comes in clutch again. I probably won't be uh, streaming this weekend. Or, or actually, I'm not 100% sure. Probably I won't, but I actually might, though. There's a higher chance than normal. But I would like to finish routing this and, and start going, like, doing it. I will have to practice um, the DLC fights, because obviously the, you know, the base game fights, it's either they're any percent fights, which I already know already, or we just one-shot them. Yeah, the, the DLC fights will not die instantly. I don't think. But we'll, I, I don't know. Maybe they will. I mean, yeah, I could move the camera. If if I wanted to move the camera to avoid blocking the UI, then I would just use the green screen or like the transparent background. Okay. I'm going to have to remember this moveset. Maybe. Oh, holy sh... <laughs> Is that an input read or what is that? Also, I, I guess we two shot him. Good lord, this is stupid. Yep, and this is where this is where we're seeing the like I remember this fight with Crystal Halberd, and it was like a it wasn't a long fight. But it was definitely a, a normal fight. I wonder if I could bait out, like, a scripted opening or something. Jesus, dude. That's crazy. That's insane, dude. I will have to... I mean, I will have to practice this moveset. Probably have time to go in there. Like, even that attack, I'd probably just kill him.
2,300 damage. It's probably a good place to end, though, I think. Right before we get Dark Bead. One thing I definitely have to do, though, is... Um, I need to watch... I need to watch the speed run and see if there's any, like, good strats on it for, for killing these bosses quickly or something. And then also for routing ideas, be, because I'm sure... Things could probably be improved, but... Yeah, that attack is just instantly killed. Oh my god. That's definitely not safe, though. If you start with Elden Ring, this game would probably suck. Um, yeah, certain. I mean, obviously, it's an old game, so it's, like, clunkier and stuff, but it's still, like, it's still, a, it's still worth playing, I think. Oh my god, and we stunned him. Okay. Oh, man. There's definitely not a ton of safe openings, it looks like. That's probably safe, I think. So how did I get a charge after that of the other time? Like, that's kind of insane. This boss must be input reading me like crazy, dude. Like that that must be an input read. Like I'm getting some of these charges after like Oh. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like there's a lot of openings with this. 
God damn it, dude. That looks like an input read also. Okay, so that one's safe. Yeah, he just, that's so, ugh, that's so dumb, dude. Yeah, there, there looks like there's quite a few spots I can at least cast Soul Mass, though. So I wonder to punish that if I, or to like be able to cast on that one if I need to um, go beside him or something. Okay, yeah, I need to be careful of that. Look how little damage I do without the, <laughs> the rings on. Just do like nothing. That does some decent damage, though. Okay, so it looks like that flying one I can go in. Um, I think there's a couple punishes. I don't think it's worth really using homing soul mass, though, beyond the opening. Seems pretty simple to me. Yeah, and this is this is exactly why I'm rerouting this run because I I knew magic was good, but
I don't know. I was too, like, lazy to, uh... Bother swapping the route. And especially in this game, like, a, a lot of the time, magic builds in Dark Souls 3 and, and Dark Souls 2, they end up being significantly slower, which I don't like, right? I would rather take the harder run with it being more efficient than do, like, the easier run and have it be super slow. Uh, let me think what we're about to do here. Um, Artorius, do I need... I probably want to rest here. But yeah, in the case of this game... Um, the sorcery route is... It's only a tiny bit slower, so. I'm not sure if I need to use Hidden Body here or not. Maybe I can... I assume... Like, does this Calmead have iframes there or something? Uh, this is Dark Souls 1, Eddie. Or Dark Souls Remastered. Um, I guess I'll go this way. I love the- look, look at these guys, they're trimming the- the leaves. Maybe I should've gone the other way, I don't- the other way is maybe better. I wonder if there's a good uh, red tear stone set up here. Oh, I, <laughs> I have no death on. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, that wasn't even close to surviving, I don't think. Yeah, this elevator's way too quick, I think. Oh, just kidding. That's kind of scary, though. I feel like that could easily go wrong. No way. I, I don't remember how I would have gotten red tear stone for this guy before. Maybe I maybe I did something over here. I'm sure there's a good on the way setup. I don't want to run back through this section again. Um. Uh, 
Oh, I don't remember how I would have done this before. I wonder if I actually did get the Mimic Head on... my other all bosses run. Drop after the elevator. I guess it just it, it seems too scary though. Maybe Hmm. I could maybe take a bit more there. What I could do is, is send the elevator up and then drop on. Like that's probably the safer way to do it. Oh, that, that's perfect. With the crown, that, that would have been... That would have been perfect. Kind of slow, though, but... Okay. I wonder if I have enough time to just... Oh my god. <laughs> he just dies so fast. That's crazy. Okay, he somehow dodged everything there. We don't have a lot of casts with these. That's maybe the one problem. Is that we just... Can't really afford to whiff. But... Oh, he keeps... He keeps dodging it. I wonder if this is fast enough here. Oh my god. And he keeps he keeps eating my soul mass. I okay, so I need to figure out how to do this without missing him.
By Soul Spear. Oh, that's a good idea. Well. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe we can just run in and do a Soul Spear right away. dude uh bella thanks so much for the the raid how was your stream i appreciate that we are just blasting through the game right now routing the all bosses no hit run of this maybe with sorcery maybe. of course i'll give you the best nut ever oh i forgot something missed him i'm not sure what it was though uh, Bayans, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks, dude. Oh. <laughs> I guess he can just do that. Bro, how did that miss him? Not ever. Helps if I don't roll into the hitbox. Uh, Rap, thanks for giving this up to Bella. Thanks so much, Rap, dude. Okay, so don't cast that opening soul, uh, soul spear. And surely this is fast enough. <laughs> if we, we got the stun. I think it's just... The, the Crystal Soul Spear doesn't really, um... It doesn't really track very well, so I need to be closer. I think that's the problem. Uh, I appreciate that, Bella. <laughs> yeah, surely that's true. Okay, that's a good one. Good. I don't even know if it's worth using uh I don't even know if it's worth using the soul mass here. It's kind of just getting in the way. Like all, all we need is to hit him once, right? We hit him once, he goes into this and we just kill him. Although I, I stunned him that time. <laughs> Dollar store lost sinner. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's true. I agreed. 100% true. Oh! You freak? I guess that's sort of a an issue. Um, am I going to stream tomorrow? Probably not. But who knows? I would like to. I'm. I mean, routing, routing stuff like this is definitely. It's it's really fun, and I don't like stopping. But okay, I have an idea. But no, I probably won't stream tomorrow. I don't think. Yeah, what we're doing right now. If anyone's wondering, uh, we're gonna do a run trilogy all bosses no hit. Which is just Dark Souls 1, 2, 3. Every boss in the game, no hit. So if I get hit in like, let's say I no hit like Dark Souls 1 and 2. If I get hit in Dark Souls 3, I got to reset. Like all the games. 
Um, the only one that I haven't haven't done all boss and no hidden is this one. Okay, so I'm gonna try using a. S oh wait. I'm not meaning to stun him out of that. But yeah, this is the only one that I haven't done all boss and no hidden before. I I routed uh, I routed it like years and years ago, like three years ago or so, but I just never uh, just never got around to doing it. And so now I'm rerouting it with sorcery because I did sorcery for the for the any percent, which is just like straight up better. So. Did a bunch of those miss or something? So, so yeah, we're just testing, like, the reason I'm killing him a hundred times is because I'm just... We're just testing what I should do here. It's also been ages since I fought against these bosses for no hit, so... I do think I should homing soul mass on the start. It's kind of just free damage. It's kind of a shame we kill him so fast, almost. Uh, Red Scale, thanks for the brand new sub. They got destroyed? Is that actually something that can happen? Assume this is safe. Oh my goodness, dude. Not good. Uh, Brex River Boys as well. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Uh, complete God Run Three. Like you you mean the actual full run? It's on uh, it's on my second channel. Like if you do exclamation mark socials, it should be there. Or if you mean just like the edited video, then it's on the normal channel. How does that do wait? Oh, does he he just takes less damage during that, right? Anyways, this is clearly good. I just I I'm trying to figure out like the best way to do it here. Because I feel like I should be able to kill him during. Oh, I thought. Oh my god. Whoops. I thought uh, he was transitioning there, but. Or headshotting him. Can you actually headshot him? Oh my god, that hits so early. I can't tell, was that more? <laughs> Try calling it an air strike. Yeah, basically that's what we're doing. Orbital strike. Yeah, it's kind of it's putting me in some awkward positions, dude, that when I did melee, I didn't really have to deal with. I think that was the same. Would I clean porta potties for a living if it paid fifty bucks an hour? Um, probably not.
I mean, that wouldn't be that bad, though, I guess. Well, I don't know. I just can't believe that misses him. Like, this is actually kind of awkward on this guy. Yeah, yeah, obviously they're not hand... Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Well, magic, magic is great for this fight. It's just... It's a little awkward. Oh, okay. That worked nicely. That worked pretty nicely. Let me try that again. So, let me do one Crystal Soul Spear. He, like, he moves. He moves to the side, and that's why I've been missing him. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. That's it. Much better. I, I wasn't sure if the, the Soul Mask would have enough range. That's why I didn't try that earlier, but... Yep, there it is. Uh, Necrosis. Uh, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub. Thanks, dude. Huh? He has iframes on stuff? What on earth was that? What is what is every enemy in this game have iframes, dude? So weird. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm feeling pretty decent about this. I I do I definitely need to um practice these DLC boss movesets though, like a lot more. But this is definitely the strat, like we just skip phase two, it looks like. like this opening's the most free one. Okay, I was a little close. I, pr I probably should end uh, very soon, you guys. Yeah, I got blasted right there. <laughs> Actually true. Uh, Jins, thanks so much for the donation, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, dude. Is that a triple? Like, I, I don't... Again, I, I need to... This will still be enough, I think, right? Oh, it's like we have mega overkill, actually. 
Okay, I guess well that'll have to be it for today, guys. Six thirty. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'll be on this weekend. Like maybe I'll do some routing off stream if I'm not though, like if I just don't have time. But we're we're mostly done routing this, dude. It's uh, like 16, 17 bosses done, or yeah, seventeen bosses. There's only uh nine left, and we're gonna have dark bead. Like after Artorius is where we go get dark bead. Actually, you know what? We're probably going to kill... We're probably going to kill... Uh, uh, Palamete first and then go get Dark Beat or something. Just because we're going to learn the... Uh, the Gothless strat, so... And then, yeah, we get Dark Beat, go kill Manus with the Crystal Sorceries. Swap to Dark Beat, go kill, like... Everybody else. <laughs> and then, you know, everyone's just going to get one-shotted, basically. So yeah, it's coming, dude. The route's looking very nice so far. I think, and, and I, I will, um, I'll, I will watch. If I remember, I'll watch uh, some speed, like the most up to date sorcery speedrun route, and uh, see if there's any good ideas I can take from that. I think it's it's looking decently efficient so far, but I don't know. We'll have to see when we actually do a run to see what the, um. The time will be. Uh, but anyways, go say hi to Collins, you guys. He's doing... He just fell and died. <laughs> He's doing... Uh, Dark Souls 3, no hit any percent. Right now. But I'll post the link on YouTube, and then... We'll raid on Twitch. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Again, you guys, I will see you all um, probably on Monday. Uh, and yeah, take care, you guys. Have a good weekend, and I will see you guys later.